I'm representing one of you students. How are you doing today? Good morning, sir. I'm not bad. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, so this was one student in the class. All right, let me start again. Good morning, students. How are you doing today? Good morning, sir. I'm good. Uh, good morning, Mr. Shan. Oh, good morning. Good morning, that's morning more, sir. Yeah, man, that's more like it. Yeah, something like it. Yeah, man. I'm seeing some of you here that have interacted with me before, and I'm just going to ask you to tell the rest of them how I stay. I want you to talk to me. It's way too early on a Saturday morning. You know what I could be doing right about now? And I guess it could be the same thing too. Draw for the third German and draw the cover and lick a nice sleep. So for the next nine weeks or so, we will be early morning math partners. So I'm gonna ask that when you come to class, when I'll come in a daddy daddy attitude. And me, me is not one of them lecturers there where when you ask a question, me turn and answer those questions because everybody is muted. Oh no, it will not happen. It will not happen. I will definitely um, let you know that from the first. So let me just welcome you to the course, Foundation Concepts 3. It's, it's a nice course. Um, if I were to be frank, um, of the foundational courses, um, I enjoy teaching this one the most. It's it's fun. Um, and students normally do very well at this course. Uh, normally, I will have I will have high eighties, nineties, and sometimes a hundred percent pass. Um, there are many times 100% pass of the course. So it's, it's fun. Come to class. Come to class on time. Come to class with the right attitude. Come to class to participate and to learn. And trust me, the course will be behind you in, in another nine weeks. Uh, we will be using EducaSoft for the most part because the course is, is mainly a graphical course. Because the course is mainly graphical, I will be using the EducaSoft platform mainly to present the course. Uh, for those of you who I have interacted with before will know that I, I type up my notes and I, I um, send you PDF copies of the notes and, and all those wonderful things and, you know, to pure questions and send the solutions with the question and them things. It won't happen for this course for the most part because this course is, is mainly graphical and um, I, want to, I want to show you stuff in real time. So I'm gonna ask that to ensure that you have a working or an operable um, device, not just for class, but for EducaSoft. And um, your exam should be on EducaSoft. I using the operative should because sometimes I get a last minute notice to say that exam is going to be on Moodle, but whichever platform um, you, you, you get, you define. So let me just put that in now. <clears throat> so because they can tell me in the last couple of you know, seconds before that, the exam is going to be on Moodle. I'm going to ask that you all get a pack of graph paper. Very important. I'm going to ask you to get a pack of graph paper um, for class purposes, and you're going to save a few for exams. Because if it is on Ericosoft, hooray. But if it's on Moodle, you're going to need graph paper to do the stuff. In addition to which, if it is even on Ericosoft, 
um, persons who do exams on Edicusoft in the past would know that you have to send evidence of your work so that you can, um, the lecturer can second the mark. And trust me, the second marking is very important. I am, I am upset with one of my students for last semester in business calculus. Very good performer, was like the second or third top performer for the mid semester. Did, did Edicusoft pretty well. Went into the exam at about 30 something out of 40. Went into the exam, did not submit evidence of work. There was nothing for me to second mark. And the student only able to get a B minus. Only able to get a B minus because I couldn't second mark a paper. Whereas students who did not get as much as that student got for the mid semester um, end up with B pluses and A's. So I'm saying to you, it is very important that you present your evidence to be remarked. It's very important. Your papers are remarked. And it's very important that you do trust that. All right. Um, the courses are 60 40, 60% 60 for the exam, 40% for coursework. Your mid semester is 20%. Your Edicusoft pieces will give you another 10% for homework and a 10% for quizzes. The semester is very short. I will not be victim of marking exam paper when the new school year has begun. So as per usual, I don't play around with my exam papers and my papers will be marked um, expeditiously. So those of you who choose to to, to push the foot around completing your work on Edicusoft, we'll just get zeros. And um, that's just a real talk because I'm not going to be sitting and waiting for persons to complete their assigned task on the platform. What am I saying? Starting today, when I would have gone through this stuff, I'm expecting people to go read through your tutorials, answer your questions, complete your assessments on time, so that when it's time for exams, you don't say, oh, sir, I have five pieces left, can I? No, that won't work for this course for sure, because um, the course goes up until, I think, the 19th of August. Um, let me just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, the course goes up until the 20th of August, and I would suspect that your exam will begin the week of the 29th of August and will run up down to the week of the 9th of September. And you know the school are going to start them time there. You know school are going to start them time there. So I'm saying to you, it's very important that you stay on track. Uh, and of course, the normal things that I normally talk about students, you know, um, respect is due both ways. And it is also due every time um, I can go from zero to 100 in a millisecond. I hate when students are disrespectful. It's an online class. I will just block you if you are disrespectful, right? And you can find another foundation concept three group to go to. Um, I will first give you respect and then expect to get in return your respect. Um, you know, I, I, it, I, I shudder to, 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 to think of how disrespectful some students can be. Um, a student sent me an email recently about the platform being closed. And if you did ever hear the tone that the student wrote is something you did wonder if it's me and the student get up in the morning. And I had to say to the student, put on clothes on that email, you're out of order, right? So I don't know the level to which the student can decide for them to fight a teacher in a classroom. Ah, it, ah, goodness. Guys, it is very important that we maintain 
the level of respect. We will have disagreements. We will have disagreements in any relationship, but we are going to be adults in how it is that we deal with the disagreement. Let me see who I can call upon and trouble this morning. Um, somebody I don't know. Delva Harvey. Delva may come and don't do my work. And I may choose to come to class and say to Delva, Delva, what kind of foolish is you going with? And I will rough up Delva. But it don't mean that Delva and I don't have a good teacher-student relationship. It is because I want Delva to be working and I want the very best for Delva. All right? And Marva, I may say the same thing to you. Marva, you seem like you want to get lazy for me in my class. Come on, man. You can do the work, man. I believe in you. I don't expect Marva to come and say, why so you call me lazy in a class? And that's not it. So irrespective of age, irrespective of status, I don't care who you are. Don't play with me and my work. And students who are here will know how I say. Don't play with me and my work. And if you do my work, we're good to go, you know. We don't have to cross each other's paths. We're good to go. Those are some of my housekeeping. I would have known a few of you um, from the town hall at like Avagail Green. I'm remembering that name from my town hall. And a few more. Some of you I have interacted with previously. Um, but you know, that's just some of the housekeeping as the semester goes on. And I remember more, I will tell you. I'll give you an opportunity now to give me some of your expectations. Just as I have expectations of you, I'm sure you have expectations of me. So talk to teacher now, please, and tell us. <clears throat> no expectations? Okay. What to expect already? <laughs> say, say it again, Krishna. I know what to expect already. Oh, okay. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> yeah, man. All right. Um, I uh, hold on. I hope this is me asking a question and just one person respond is not an indication of the challenge that I have for this Saturday morning class. I really am hoping. Uh, I know the system is asking for students to be given override for foundation concept three. Are you all okay with your overrides? Have you all received your overrides? Did, did you all get your link for the class or is a friend give it a link? For me, no, we're supposed to send you an email, me and Afia, she can't get in at this point in time. Good morning, Mr. Good morning, um, we were one of the person that Miss Redwood asked for, for override for, to come into your class today. Uh, give me an email, please. Sorry, give me an ID number, Tammy, please. Um, hold one second, please. Or if you don't want to show it to what you can see it in the chat. Um, I am just in the system now, so let me just look at it quickly so I can just give you the override as I'm asking. Who oh, are um. Good morning, sir. Um, morning, morning, morning. I'll sleep a little bit. Me hear it in your voice. Yeah, um, sir, in relation to pre calculus, though, I still haven't received any override. Um, all right, so the truth of the matter is the override them come in fierce. When we say fierce, override them come in. All right, um, Tommy, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing a request for you. Um, so you need to, you need to go back on Arian. Let me just check to see the No, we ID. were trying to find your email. We didn't send you as yet. So we're oh. going to send you that override. No, no, no. So I'm not the one that do the override. So you have to go on Arian. So you have to go on Arian, select the course, and it will ask you for a um, prerequisite override. And you select, you click on that. And then yeah. you send me the email to say, sir, I've done the override so that I can look for it and 
and grant it for you. No problem, sir. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. So I'm sorry, Abba, you're still. Yes, sir, but the prerequisite, they're override for pre-calculus. All right, so drop, your, drop your ID in the chat and let's look at it quickly, please. 2021-1458. All right, I'm seeing it. Hold on. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay um all right i one of the grades is not in just yet so which is why hold on let's see yours is one of those key names that i have written down so Yes, 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 yes. You are number four on my list that I wrote on 2021-1438. So you are out of the All right. I'll, um, Abba, you will, you'll, I'll come back to you. I'm still waiting on the, on the FCM2. <clears throat> so that's why I've not yet done the, um, the overwriter song. But Miss Collins did send them. So I will look at those grades outside the class and then um, do the, the prerequisites. So on my list, I have about 12, 13 students that I need to, to look at. And I think most of these students are the students from the, from the foundation concept too. So, oh, that sounds so sir. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. It's just that um, we have to look. So, well, do like class, so. Uh, no, man. So what happened is that um, for students, coming in without the CSET mathematics and all of you are in that position because you're in foundation concept three. So nobody can see no way about it at last. So you have to just load up with something. So no matter what are we coming without the CXC math? So what we do is to give you foundation concept one, two, three as a prerequisite for, for pre-calculus. And for those of you who are doing performing arts and library, you are only required to do foundations concept one and two. But for those of you doing um, any other course, computing and business, yeah, for you doing a higher math course thereafter, we'll have to do foundation concept two, three, one, two, three. So because mainly foundation concept three is offered in the summer, and I am mainly the lecturer for the course, uh, we normally give students an override for pre-calculus if you successfully pass foundation one and foundation two. So I would have seen the foundation one grades on the system, but the foundation two, I have not yet um, you know, looked around because I, am, I was busy. I mean, I've completed marking my exam papers a long time, but I was busy trying to do some stuff and to submit my grades support and so on. So I will definitely get through to that. So, but before the day ends, you will hear from me, Miss Ava, because as I said before, yours is one of those that I have written down. All right. Good, uh, good, good morning, Mr. Sean. Greetings good, to you, sir. Greetings to you, um, Yeah, Andrew, I'm here. Um, I heard you. Uh, I wasn't able to register for Math 3, right? Mm -hmm. um, however, I, I did receive the, the master, the master, what do I call it? The master. The master list, and you just looked at the class. Right. Um, but this happened the last, the previous semester. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I had to call in to, to have them register me. Um, no, man, you, have to, you have to go online. You have to go on Arian. And when you go on Arian, you're going to select the course. And it will ask you for a prerequisite override. You just click on that. And um, it comes to me automatically. Well, okay. it comes to me and, 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 and a few other persons. But I think I'm the one maybe that will look at the overrides for the math. The, the uh, only challenge though, sir, is that mm -hmm. when I try to re register, like it's a register for class. So mm -hmm. when it's an open registration period and I select weekend or any one of the options in the drop down, mm -hmm. it doesn't give me um, any option in the other drop down that I, I am supposed to select the course from. Got you. Do me a favor. When right. that happens, go on the website. I think it's the bottom right hand corner. 
and have a chat with somebody from ICT to let them know the challenge that we're having and they will start it out. Easy one, two, three. Okay, I can do it from the chat from the website. Okay, I never know. Yeah, that. man. Yeah, man. Easy one, two, three. All right, so I'll do that um, before the day is out and hopefully get it rectified. Great, great. Sir, one final thing. You said the course uh -huh. is all about graphs as in X and Y? Yeah, man. <laughs> Okay. So for those right. of you who those of you who don't like the graph, <laughs> you better start pre and fast because uh, it is there. I know it's doable, you know, sir, but I just it need to, to bend my mind to it to say, all right, let's do it. Yeah. Sir. Yes, my name is Sean. Morning. Um, which program is to get exam from Foundation Three? What program are you in? Um, tourism, hospital and tourism. You're in tourism? No, man, tourism not do foundation fee. Hold on. No, man, tourism don't. You're in hospitality? Yes, sir. This is, um, I'm finished up the associate degree. Well, I finished all my exam, but I saw this in an email. So they don't have. No, man, tourism don't do FCM3. Tourism do FCM1 and 2. Hold on, let me just check something here. Um, No, because all you do next is applied mathematics. No, tourism don't do. I did applied uh, months already, and I did foundation. Uh, and foundation. You did one and two already? Yes, sir. Mm -mm. Um, let me touch this, this Rian, but Rian is going to tell me, Mr. Shan, you should know. You are the one who should tell us that. Right, let me just look at your, 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 your booklet, but I don't think tourism will do foundation three because you don't do any higher course than applied mathematics, which is pretty similar to one and two, with the exception of some graphs. Hold yes, on. Sir. Or so tonight. And you know you're glad if you don't have to do this. Jeez, am I hearing a voice? It can't I, hear, I hear the prayer. I said, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right, hold on. Hospital. Oh, crap. I don't have I don't have the EAC in hospitality. Oh, Lord. I guess I did EAC in hospitality. Um, hospitality in management. Oh, crap. Um, Ah, to do I'm almost sure you don't have to do it though. Miss Clark, not answer me. Just keep a company for today, but I'll find out anything now. I'm not seeing a, a program booklet for my for tourism. I don't know why I don't have a copy of it, but um yes, sir. But just, just keep my company for today. Who are you again? Remind me of the name. Um, Shani Walker Brown. Oh, but I suppose I know you, your yeah, man. I know you, man. I know you, yeah, yeah. yeah, man. I interacted with with, with Microsoft. Uh, Mrs. Maxwell Thomas taught you foundation one, right? Miss, uh, who was? yes, Miss Maxwell Thomas Maxwell. Right, 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 right. I remember, I remember interacting with you. Yes, I don't know, I don't know the face. Is it online? Let me tell you the wicked thing about online. I love online. Don't get me wrong. This is where the world is going. But let me tell you about online. I, it's just like social media. You are quote unquote friends, social friends with those people, but you've never met them before. So when I hear the names, your yeah, man, I know Andrahan, I know Andrahan, but I can be shoulder to shoulder with you. I'm Chanel and pass you don't even know. Pass you and don't even know. Funny story, I was in the supermarket some time ago, uh, probably last school year. And, um, we're shopping, of course, supermarket, so you're shopping. And my wife said something to me, and I answered her, and somebody behind me in the line said, Mr. Shand, and I turned around looking very strange at this person. And just imagine a female looked at me in the supermarket, my wife there, Mr. Shand, and I said, okay. And I was like, yes. Hi, sir, how are you? I was like, I'm fine, and um, what do you do? So you don't know me? I said, absolutely not. 
I've never met the students in real life. And the students say, sir, I'm Mary Jane. Mr. Cockroach, Mary Jane, is with us. They say, yes, sir. Sir, don't move it in the sir, because the rest of them can come here, sir, because we can go out. And it's about five or six of the students came and I was like, and you are this person, you are, and it's when, the, it's just because of the voice. So you will hear the voice, so you'll hear me on campus and say, that sounds like Mr. Shan. But this is what online does. But one of these days, one of these Saturday mornings, say because Alpha said she just wake up and she kind of oversleep and she not put on the little chicken put here to make the soup. One of these Saturday mornings, we can get up very early and we're going to turn on our cameras so we can see what each of us look like. Um, you know, but we spread the bed early, early and thing and thing. Yeah, but we're going to plan it. So we know we're going to go to bed early one Saturday night. So we can get up, I mean, Friday night. So we can get up early, early Saturday. And we're going to keep our cameras on the whole time so everybody can know what everybody looks like. Does that sound like a plan? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. There's only two people here, and sister there, no? I mean, no more going have problems with this. Class. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, please. Yeah, ma'am. All right. Um, all right, so I have been checking up the 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 the, 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 the chat. Um, but I'm gonna press pause on the chat for now and then just move on into some other little stuff. Um, see, no. All right. So what I have been doing. All right, sorry. Um, Russell is already up, so let me just look at Russell quickly. Um, uh huh. Hold on. You see, oh, you see, twenty twenty. All right, um, uh, let's see now what is happening. All right, I'm um, not yet. All right, Ali, I am not yet in receipt of the FCN tool from Servacus. So I can't do anything with the pre calculus receipt. And I guess for most of you who want to move over to pre calculus, it will be the same thing. Um, if I'm not if I'm not in receipt of when I'm seeing that you're good with FCM1. I'm not in receipt of the FCM2 just yet. I know they are finishing off the stuff. Um, yesterday was a deadline for marking. So I know I'll get it over the weekend. So this is why there has been a delay. So I won't check anymore because the ones that I've checked so far is the same FCM2 that um, is the issue. So. I'll just move on. All right, so what has been happening, what has happened rather, is eight of you should have seen an email from me. Did anyone receive an email from me? So regarding? No email from me, sir. No. No, nobody? Oh, no. Yeah, nobody, 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 nobody don't see something from Sir Shanda. Or okay. <clears throat> Anybody see any email from Erica Sir? Let me put it that way. No, oh, sir. sir. Oh no, that's not good. Right, let me just put in this way. Um, I will tell you who should have received because um Krishna, you should get one, you know. You should really get one. But I know I did yours. Um um, in my Gmail inbox, sir. 
for, for, for Edica. So, so the, the following people would have received access to Edica. So Krishna, um, um, Barclay, Ben Gushi, Campbell Walker, Clark, Green, Hamnut, and and yeah. That person is not here. Not a drop that person. Hey, sir. Yeah. Is, sir, in the ECC, in the the ECC email, you sent that to. No, um, <clears throat> I would have registered. I would have. You seen it now, Krishna, right? Yes. Yeah, man. Yeah. What, yeah, what yeah. date? What date was it sent? Um, I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it early this morning. Early this, I think it's early this morning or very late last night. Could be between eleven o'clock last night and this morning. So I gave a few of you. I was able to find a few of your information. So I gave a few of your um access. So because I think I know why uh, my my now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That much. I can't. All right. All right. Do me a favor now. So in order for us to begin, I would need. How could I do this? How could I do this? Mm -mm. I didn't have the email addresses for, for, for um, uh, yeah, most of you. Um, most of you I didn't have the email address. I was able to find some. Hello. Hearing you, sir. Hearing oh, okay, you. okay. <laughs> I saw my screen in blank a while ago and I was wondering what it's happening. All right. Um, I found email addresses just for a few and I was able to register those students. Um, so I'm going to ask for those of you who, okay. Go back, sir. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Do me a favor. I want you to, those of you who, all seven of you. Well, Krishna said that he's seen his, and okay, and Geraldine saw hers too because she has just logged on. Very nice. Um, so the rest of you, the other five, Barclay Ben Gushi, I'm not sure if Ben Gushi is here, and I don't think Ben Gushi is. Right, I don't think Ben Gushi is doing anything because I think he's social work. So I'm going to drop him. Uh, Walker, Campbell Walker, Clark Green. Go to your edicasoft.com. Look to see if you're seeing your formation concept two. The default password is welcome. And try that out for me, please, while I get the other students registered. Because as I said before, it's going to be a hands-on class. You have to have your access. The first class in the foundation concept three normally is a lot of housekeeping because I have to now get all of you registered. And um, you know. I did something last night. Let me see if I can. I think that would be an easier option. That yes, sir. I'm on. You're on now? Nice. How about this though, sir? Huh? Sorry, this is a lot of work. <laughs> if you pace yourself and you'll be fine. I promise you, if only you pace yourself, it's something. What am I looking for? FC moments. It's something FC moments. When was it 18? This morning, yes, sir. Today is the 18th. Yeah, okay, that means this morning I did it at 1.03 a.m. So, but I didn't send an email, but I went on and saw the thing. And saw it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what, what happens normally, what I did was to promote you guys. So normally I find with the system that when students are promoted, they don't see, um, they don't see, we call it, they don't get the, the email. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to project. I'm going to do a new share. All right, so this is what I worked from last night. So what I'm going to do is just maybe get the information here to be much easier. Um, to pop that. All right. Yes, so, sir. I've seen, I'm seeing it. You've I'm seen it now. All yes, right, cool. All right. So, so do me a favor. In your mom's money, put on your T lecture, Sean. All right, do me a favor. Um, I'm just going to answer to you. Unmute. Um, one after the other, so that I can get you your information up, so that I can um, go ahead and get you registered. So who's going first? 
I don't want to put it in the chat because it's going to be difficult for me to read the chat and that. So just tell me your, um, who is coming first, outside of those who already have access. So, Shaki McLeary. Shaki McLeary. So, S-H-A-Q-U-I-L-L-E. Mm -hmm. Sir, you're okay. typing in the wrong space. Right, sir. Oh my God, sir, you're typing in the wrong space. No, man. It, it's been my name. No, man. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I'm going to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Clearly, you're still asleep. L E A R Y, yeah. What if I say? Okay. Yeah, no session of wake up with you, you know. All right, Shaquille, just look at that and just tell me if um I am correct. So that when I upload it, your friend. Um, yes, okay. Go then. Who's next? Sir, mm -hmm. I'm not seeing my name. You're not seeing her name? No, Shanti Gregory. Okay. Um, you are not yet registered. That's why I took this from the registration list. The, the persons who have already selected the course. Right, so, so I selected it and it's over. Override, yeah, because you have not yet, you have not yet gotten the override. That's right. All right. Um, S H C H A N T E R S. S H A W N T A E. Oh, oh Shanti. S H A W N T A E. Gregory. Yes, sir. S H A W N T A E dot G R E G O R Y. What number? Eighty nine. 89 at my dot ecc dot edu dot m all right um next cameron mm -hmm. g n e l l e c a m e r o n 18 at my dot ecc dot edu dot gm next just check for the Brianna who? Brianna Lamont. Lamont, yes, Brianna, I know you also from, from my town hall. 56. 56 nights at my dot ecc dot dot Next. Russell, sir. Ali Bali. Yes, sir. Uh, anybody call you so? No, sir. <laughs> Sorry, SSE. Uh, 77. Uh, check for me, guys. Just make sure that I have it correct. Sir. All of you. Yes, please. Who is this? I'm Foster. Beyonce. B E Y O N C E. Dot F O S T T E R. Who is next? I'm not. Yes, Geraldine. Who is next? Stuart, sir. Really boom, buddy. And I see he um, got this GDWRT. 75. 75. That's my dot ECC dot EU dot Jamaica. Check again, please, guys, to make sure that you're fine. Chanel, I'm not going to get you registered just yet here because I'm, I'm almost sure that you're not supposed to be here, but I want your company for today. Sir Campbell. Election has gone already. Tristan, T R I S T A N dot C A M P B E F. What number are you, Campbell? Eight zero. Eight zero. Are you showing like Krishna? On a brother, on a related? No, sir. I dot E C C. I'm on a solar night. E D U dot J M. Um, who's next? Harvey. Harvey Delva. How are you, the Delva? You put on the super ready? Okay, you sir. You put on the super? Seventeen. You know, answer me. What did you say, sir? As if you put on the super yet. No, sir. All right, who's next? Is the room here? 
The I was just going to tell you that the email is not correct. Which one? My email. Oh, what is it supposed to be? My ECC is not in it. Oh yeah, it's true. I'll put that there to see if you were paying attention to um, my ECC dot ed that you can write. Um, okay. Who is next? I know Avi is already there. I know Krishna is already there. Marv is already there. Ashantio is there? Is in class tonight? All right. So you see when I'm when I move on from here, if you're not if you're right here and you're not you don't have access to it, so please let me know. I'm just gonna go ahead and upload these students to the platform now and start my class. When I start my class, I'm not meant to stop. So then sir, have to, yes, sir. sir. Sir, I continue to use the same um access, right? Uh, the same password because the access for that other course would have already ended. Oh. So, but but yes, you're still gonna use the same email and 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 your and your and your and your um password. Any password. password, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Sir, can you just add my name, please, and email? Um, what's your name, hon? Um, go pulsing. Afia go pulsing. Afia A F I A. A P H I A. A P H P H I A. Right. And go Paul Singh. Awesome. awesome. Yes, you got it right the first go. <laughs> Miss Bright. Talk to me here. Go Paul Singh. Most people tend to spell it incorrectly. No. So it's F. It's it. And I would have gotten I would have gotten F your correct because the F gives you the PH sound. You know that from phonics, right? Right, so oh, it's afia.gopalsing. Right. No, the F is out. Okay, yeah. A-P-H-I-A. Right. 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 Dot Um, It's it's N, not M. Sing. Sing, 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 sing. sing. Right. right. You're going no, really I'm fast, right? Yeah. It's an N-G-A. Um, uh -huh. Three, six. Mm -hmm. At my CC. Right. right. Thank you, sir. No problem, Pierce. Um, I want to, sir, Tamara Morgan. Mm-hmm. 37. Is there anybody else? Tell me, check for Can me. I still please. provide you with the with the ID yes. number, sir? Um, not, 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 no, not, 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 not necessarily. Not necessarily. Okay. Um, anybody else going once, going twice. All right. Zoning. See, all right. Somebody just came in a while ago. Let me just check. Um, all right. Somebody just came in. Person who just came into class. Um, may I have, all right. Somebody just came in. Steer, 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 and divonet, 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 and uh, who knows this now, Lord? Um, all right, divonet, can you give me your? Oh, come on, this one. Um, D i v o n e t s t e e r. Email address, please. T i v o n e t dot s t e e r. Twenty. Twenty at my dot e c c dot e d dot Are you related to a Deron? Not the of sir. Students of years ago, Deron steer. Why well, give me no trouble, you know, Miss Devonet? Don't give me no trouble, you know. Sir, no, it's from Mika, sir. <laughs> All right, good. All right, so, oh, sorry, this is supposed to be a capital D. And everything is spelled correctly, right, given it? Yes, sir. All right, cool. All right, so is there anybody else who don't have access to any of who just came on? All right, I'm going, I'm saving that. I'm chasing that off. Let me stop share one moment. And I'm going to. All right. In the meantime, for those of you who just joined, I'm going to ask that you go to edicosoft.com. 
educosoft.com um, and I will tell you when to get logged in. Mm -hmm. All right, so it accepted the other ID numbers. So let me just go ahead. Um, Shante, you want to run the ID 50 for me, please? So I repeat. Can you tell me, I, Gregory, is this Gregory? Yes, it is. Yeah, can you tell, give me the ID number 50, please? <clears throat> 2021, mm -hmm. 1089. All right, 1089, 2021, 10, 89. Afio, go yes. ahead, please. 2021-2536. 2021-2536. Tomorrow, go ahead, please. 2021-2537. 2021-2537. Go ahead, please. Uh, 2021, um, All right, you all are now registered <clears throat> to the platform. I'm gonna ask that you go ahead, use your ID, your email address as your username and your default password is welcome. I will show you how to go about having that changed um, as soon as we get on. So I'm gonna check now to see those of you who would have logged on. Um, congratulations. I now have 18 students in the class, whoa. You guys are here. <clears throat> All right, Tristan, I'm going to ask you to log on for me, please. I know you are here, Sir Campbell. Sir, I'm in now. Yeah, in now. Uh, Let's see now, Tristan. Um, I'm in now, sir. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Um, sir, I'm in, but it's still reflecting calculus. All right, give me a favor. <clears throat> Look to the top right, it says change course. Do you see a button that says change course? 
top right change course let me see uh, change course top right okay change course yes sir see it Good. all right so math uh, three. three let's see all right um um I'm seeing business call and uh, math 2301. I don't see math three as an option. Hey man, you're there too. Hold on. Um, okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, you're not gonna see it because, okay, you're not gonna see it. Okay. Um, hold on. Let me too. <clears throat> You're zero one, right, Andrew? Um Zero one is that the last thing on the team? Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, you said a zero one over to sir. Sorry, what's the ID number? Oh, 2021-1901. Oh, yeah, you're right, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 1901. All right, can you go F5 and then go back for me, please, and check again? All right, so F5. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, sir, it's there now. All right, um, good try. no Let me know when you're seeing my screen, please. Seeing it, sir. Ah, great. All right, it's just coming up a little. Um, don't know why it's taking this long. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What? No internet access? That's not good. Oh, hold on. No, I'm going to see. Come on, internet to really see. All right, so as I wait on this, let me just use this opportunity to talk to you about this internet stuff when you're doing your exam. Um, karma is something, you know, Murphy's law is something. Anything that can go wrong <laughs> will go wrong. See, it's no asking me to wait because it's not responding. So you will have challenges such as these while you're doing your exam. It is important that you're transparent. You will see it to the invigilators online. This is what is happening. Um, and, I, and I will say to you, so for example, <clears throat> and I may just have to go for it now, uh, but it's not an internet problem. It's just that the system is not responding. The page is not responding. But one of the things that I have done ever since we moved into the online space, it's an additional expense to me but I just stopped sharing a while ago because I don't know what is happening. Um, it's an additional expense to me, but I have invested in extra data. So I have data on my phone and I've invested in data. 
why sir why put yourself through that because of you i don't think because my wi-fi goes from home you shouldn't have a class now if my data provider goes down i definitely can't have a class because i don't have an, an option but it's very important why am i saying this and i want you to hear me out and hear me out very clearly All right, so you should be seeing everything now. All right, yeah, so what I was saying is, <clears throat> It's in the day of your exam. I know the internet providing companies will give you like a one day um, internet access for $200, $300, whatever amount of money. Oh, no, no, more than I do. If I were you, if I know I have exam today and tomorrow or for this week, I am going to put on a one week service. What's sorry, not give not much data? I mm, agree. But let me tell you what I would do. I would. Um, if I'm doing an exam, I and I know that I have to turn my camera on, and I know I'm going to have the problem, and I know my internet access is unstable. I am going to find a church or a community center or somewhere, my next door neighbor, whose internet service is much stronger than mine, as 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 a backup, right? Um, if 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 the data is limited. Um, don't know how you can work it out. You can download a paper for argument's sake. So you're doing something for me. And that's why I don't I don't emphasize you all to be turning on your cameras every class time. One or two times I'll say, no man, come turn on camera. We need to get to know each other, right? Because I know when you turn the camera on, it eats up a lot of data. But you know, for exam purposes, you can download the paper quickly. You download the paper quickly and um you you you, you minimize the use of the data. You can you can set up something on your system to, to minimize use of the data. The point I'm making is yours is going to be the responsibility. So if you know you may have a challenge with data and you have limited data access and unstable internet access, find yourself to the physical plant, meaning ECC, 137 Mountain View Avenue, or Campford, or, or wherever it is, where's it called? to do your exam, all right? It's going to be your responsibility to ensure that you are putting yourself in a, in a space that you can do your exam, all right? Very important. JPS and NWC don't business if I am not in Jamaica. We could have tour Europe once my bill due and I don't pay it on the due date. They didn't charge me $250. And if a certain time passing, they cut it off. If they didn't business that I was away and I couldn't come into their office, they were going to find ways of paying it, all right? So I'm going to say to you, just work on that. And I want you to think about it, even at the start of my class, so that when it's time for exam, nobody can say, sir, you didn't tell me this. So you are looking at your screen that says, welcome to Edicosoft. This is the, your face view of your platform. Now, your, your dashboard is something that you can go ahead and arrange. So if you want to see your messages, up front, you can put your messages up top so that anytime sir sends it, and don't worry about these 932 messages here, they were responded to, but not through Edicosoft, they were responded to through my ECC address. All right, so uh, the email comes both places, my ECC and Edicosoft. So if I want my messages to be up there first, fine. If I want all my assessments to be up top so that I can see, um, 
which is first, or what my task to be up top so I know exactly what is there. I can do and I can fix my dashboard however I want to fix my dashboard. It's my dashboard. And you can um, you can fix your dashboard the way you want to fix it. Now, when you arrange your dashboard, if you click on the first one over here, it says save current layout. So if I don't click on this to save my current layout, like I just did, when I log out and log back in, it's going to go back to the original thing. This one says, if I'm going to reset to the default layout, right? So if I want to go back to the default layout, I can, um, right, so it just got reset a while ago. So I can click on this, or if I want to put it my way, I can go ahead and do it, all right? Um, it's just a nice little interface to, to, for you to feel a little comfortable. Now, when you go over to the left-hand corner, you're going to see course tools, resources, communication, my account, and survey. Course tools is where we're going to be starting, where you should have your syllabus. You should have your syllabus. And when I click on syllabus, I will recognize that it's not there because I did not put it there. I did not put your syllabus there. So I'm going to add your syllabus now. I'm choosing five. Which is this again? This is foundation three. Um, also my marks C. Oh, no. oh, yeah, I know that. It seems to have been. All right, so let's go back now. <clears throat> So none of you should say, sir, you did not give me um, a copy of the syllabus. I don't give copies of syllabus. Again. So you see there now, FCM3, it is there. I would say to you, please don't download and print and kill the trees. Use a magnifying glass so it is that you can see. If you want, you can download a copy of it um, to your smart devices. And let me just create a new share so that you can see what is happening here. Are you seeing the syllabus here? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. So as I said before, it is uh, the pre there are prerequisites and co-requisites to the course, but sometimes um, we, we ignore that. So I mean, even though it says a prerequisite is foundation concept one, I will allow students who don't have foundation concept one to get into the foundation concept three. So I really don't follow this prerequisite and co-requisite slavery shape. There are other courses, however, that I must. So I can't give you business calculus if you don't do pre-calculus. And I can't give you pre-calculus if you don't pass at least two of the three foundational courses. All right, so I have to follow those. All right, so the courses aim to provide additional advancements in mathematics for students acquiring more competencies in concepts relating to transformational geometry. They, le they left off the AL, construction and distant time graphs. So transformational geometry, graphs. Construction, okay, no graphs right there. This on time, graphs. Students pursuing courses in pre-calculus, calculus, applied sciences, and engineering mathematics will appreciate all concepts and competencies developed from completing this course. The course builds on the foundations developed from successful completing FCM 1 and 2 from previous semesters. And you can see the outcomes there. And my unit one, I have two units. My unit one is going to be graphs. So you see how many things on the graphs? And then my unit two is going to be graphs, which is again geometry. And that ends the syllabus. So it's a two unit course, it's graphs. So I think it was Abba who said, sir, but I will if I work this. Yeah, because there's so many things on the graphs we have, we need to draw and interpret graphs of quadratic functions and determine the elements of the domain image with maximum and minimum, equation of the axis of symmetry. <clears throat> Let me just stop and say something here. There is one student in the class who can tell me, say, sir, what you're talking about is true. You see right here, sir? You see, those of you who are going to be moving on to calculus, um, this is calculus. Calculus one and two, then something is going to be very important. 
um, maximum and minimum, access asymmetry, turning point, you know, very, very important for a little later on. So we're building the foundations for that for later. So you need to interpret the domain for which the element of the range is greater or less than a given point. You need to estimate a value of the gradient at a particular point. This F is very important for those of you moving into calculus two. This is my iteration. Intercepts of functions determine the x axis, maximum and minimum, Yaman, completing the squares. This is important for moving into um, applications of differentiation and then move on to there. Right? So all of this here will be applications of differentiation. Then again, moving to our distant time graph. And when you read, try to say, you know, we want to see all of the the good bad drivers for the talk up. So if you think so you can drive better than Mr. Sean, by the time you're so, you're going to take on. Because I mean, one, one, one year, one student says, Sir, me take 20 minutes from Kingston to reach Ocho Rios. He said, You're the plan. When you're ready to tell me the truth, you come back from my class. Yeah, because you're a liar. You're a liar. Yes, sir, real talk. Nah, that don't work. I will take my 35 minutes or 45 minutes to reach you because I am Christian and I'm driving within the within the um, speed limit. So if you are going to drive at 120 to go there, you clearly see a coffin that you like, and I don't want to come to your funeral. So but I sir. Know. Yes, dear. Go ahead. Sir, I think I know the student is lying, sir. I think it's possible. No, it not, it, it will take 25 minutes from Kingston or this up for the toll to go Ochos Rios. It means that you're not driving Christian light, you're driving more than 80. We not ask you. Sir, when you take, yes. sir, when you take the um the taxis from the Rubis gas station in um Spanish Town and they're going Otrios, mm -hmm. sir, they take 25 minutes to reach Draxall or sometimes 20 minutes. Because you know I'm taking a few of them and I normally time them. No, but guess what? I agree with you. But you know, those taxis are very far from the cross. Those taxi drivers are very far from the cross. So as they know, sometimes they make me have to go to the cross and pray some hallelujah prayers for them. Yeah, but I mean, the point though is that um, it can be done, you know, but you notice what I said? You're not driving within the speed limit because if you're driving at 80, 20 minutes or 25 minutes from, from, from that time, you know, I had a, I mean, his soul rest in peace, an in-law who lives in, who lived in Trelawney, who said to me, when I got on and visit, he said to me, um, so where are you going now? I said, I'm going to obey, but Lord Jesus, I look at about an hour, hour, hour from here so, to Montego Bay. Bedroom, I left an half an hour, he took me for good there. I said, do you recognize that police? He said, yeah, come in where the police them there. So we reach where the police them there, no matter Slow down. I was like, oh, Lord, help me. But yeah, um, I'm one of those drivers that if it says 80, you will drive 80. Um, if it's 110, we drive the 110. And then no one said, idiot, we are drive so fast, never drop down to 80, right? But um, I guess yeah. I'm an unruly driver, sir. Oh, Jesus, forgive her, Lord. Forgive her, forgive her, forgive her. Cause her foot to become light. So, you know, so this is just really what it is that we do on a daily basis. Whether or not you're a driver, um, once it is that you commute, this is what it is. And what I'll try and do for this course is to bring the mathematics to real life. So if we're talking about conversations such as these, Yaman, that's what we're going to be doing in class. Real life situation, real, real, real life. And then it gives us the content. So this is a whole lot of stuff that we need to look at. And then it gives us the content. And then we'll move into this other aspect of it now. Remember, we have only two units, but the units are long, all right? Um, and that's why you see so many assessments online. It says draw and measure angles of lines, you know, accurately. You know, we're talking about the constructions right there. And we can construct different angles, polygons, appropriate geometrical instruments. You know, um, a couple of years ago, way back, long before we even know the COVID or go um, the assignment to teach over cosmetology. And they said, after me, you know, you're just something I'm going to go teach. And I said, no, man, we need a math teacher over there. And I went over there and I said to myself, women will teach these cosmetologists now in the way smart way. And funny enough, when I look at the syllabus, it talks about construction. And I laugh, I laugh, I laugh. I said, but after them now, go construct nothing. What am I going to use it for? And 
because I did not know. I had to go to the, the skills teachers to say, here the plan. What are what you need to do? And I say, okay, um, the students need to know angles, you know, because when you're when you're cutting, well, when you're doing the bob hairstyle, you cut it at different angles, at zero degrees and at 45 and at 60 and at 90 degrees in order for you to get that sort of gradation look. I say, oh, I say, well, and then when the man them sing on a tourism, he said, but after we don't know tourism, we can't cook, but we don't know about tourism. And I remember when I went to my first class and I taught the class. And um, the students said, sir, you know, so we get one test, you know, food labs and we couldn't pass it. And I said, why? They said, sir, we don't know if we do the conversion. And we said, Jesus, help me. And I remember leaving the main campus and going on to tourism. And I sat down with the Miss Gillings man and Miss Gillings said, Mr. Sean, where are you in my class? I said, Miss, I need to know what it is that you are using in your food lab so I can take it to my math class to bring the mathematics to life so the students can get it. And I sat down in the class that time and I see how them have to convert them measurements something, man. They not have no cup, but they have them spoon and how much spoon make a cup and them something. And they say, all right, catch it. Go to the math class, no one. Show them like a much food something, man. Next day, they get them say, blow, oh, oh, yes, sir. I remember the teacher called me and said, sir, what did you do? I said, I come and see what you do. And then me take what you do and carry to the class and do it with them. And it made life so much easier. Um, I try to do that in real life situations. So the courses that I would have taught and are now teaching, I try to bring some mathematics to the real world so you can see the connections, how it relates. Because a lot of times students will say, sir, I cannot do math because math is learned, you know, unfortunately in isolation, it only do it because of doing say. But if you see the mathematics around you and can appreciate the mathematics around you, it makes studying the subject so much more easier. So we're going to look at things of translation in a plane, um, in the plane using vectors. Vectors. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Translation. Because I'm saying to myself, but I've never used vectors. It did say translation. So, yes, you are correct. So, we're going to do translation with vectors. So, what is translation? Put it this way. Um, anybody ever got anywhere yet with them? Have an artificial pool or artificial sea? We generate. Okay, no, scrap that. Think of a fish tank. Think of a fish tank. And think of you lifting the fish tank from one end and put it back down. And you see the water move to the opposite end. And when you put it back down, you see it moves back to the other end. Anybody can visualize that? Yes, sir. In your mind, that's translation. That's translation. So if you have, if you have a fish tank and you have one, one bucket of water, one pail of water, and you lift it up, and you see the water move from one side, you tilt it enough and put it down. I see it move from one side to the next. That's translation. All right, um, just to bring um, it into the real world. Um, we need to determine and represent the location of image of an object um, and you know, on that transformation. A transformation is just, you wake up in the morning and don't put on your eyelash and put on the, the hair borrowed from others and, and the powder powder, that's transformation. And your lipstick, yeah man, that's transformation. And us men, we draw the comb through, we hear and um, um, we brush up the pepper seed grains and we put on clothes and put on deodorant and couscous and them something, your just transformation. So you waking up out of your bed is your natural state. You getting ready to come to school or work or go shop or go supermarket, you are transforming because you're actually changing your image. All right? Because nobody gets up and just leave at the lab, hopefully, and go to the shop. Yeah, in some communities they do that, but... Um, so transformation is just moving from one state to the next. All right. Um, and we're going to describe the transformations. And we're going to describe the object and image. And one of the things I will say to you is uh, none of us know our true what we look like truthfully. <clears throat> so Abba, you don't know, you don't have a, an image of your true self. But Andrahan can tell you exactly what you look like. But, sir, I know that I have a beauty spot on the top left of my lip. Yeah. Sir, oh, you know that, sir. 
<laughs> because when you look in the when you look in the mirror, I have only guesstimated Andrew Hart. <laughs> when you look in the mirror, you're actually only seeing an image of yourself. You're not seeing what your true self is. Right? So somebody else can look at you and tell you what you look like, but you're actually seeing the, the, the mirror can give you a good representation of what you look like, you know. But nobody can actually see what their forehead looks like. Because they can't see your forehead. I can look and see what my leg looks like. I can even look down and see the piece of my nose, what it looks like. But I can't see what my chin looks like. I can't see what my arm looks like. But for a full picture, a full image of me will have to be dependent upon a mirror. And you know, some mirrors, you know, um, will tell you that it makes you look bloated, and some mirrors will make you look, yeah. So it's, 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 that is a real world. All right. Um, good. So the, um, the, what we'll do is I will present the course using lectures, demonstrations, so again, the problem solving, research. I may give you one or two stuff. I may give you a presentation or a portfolio. We'll look at some case studies. Um, of course, we have Wilbur tutorials to look at. Your common course work piece will be 20%, as I told you before. Your college course work piece will be 20%. 10% for homework, 10% for quizzes. And your final examination is going to be um, 60%. And you have some resources right here. So you have that. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. But anyway, um, you have that. So that's your syllabus. Then we move into or tutorials. This is where you will see the whole the whole course. This is where you're seeing the whole course. It means that you don't have to wait on Sershan. You can move ahead of Sershan. Don't wait on me. You can move ahead of me. And one of the things that I used to do. When I, I remember when I was in um, college, I was in third form and they're giving you all these business and science subjects for you to decide, you know, your, 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 um, your proclivities. You mind them? You see, get one, one, one book, one black and red book, one POB book. And I didn't like business at all. I just don't know why. But would I just sit down and just read a book and just read a book and just read a book and then? Just go answer the question then. And the man himself, hey, you could be a good POB student. Um, negative. But why? Because I read ahead. I was always one of those who would go ahead. No, sometimes I go ahead and I don't understand enough. <laughs> um, Bree, leave me alone. Yeah, hey, Bree, Bree. I'm, I'm just seeing your message. Leave me alone. Um, no man, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about those um, in, a, in a few months. So even if I'm not understanding, I am going to, I'm going to be reading ahead. So when sir comes class and sir start explain, you can say, oh, that they mean. But if you don't read ahead, you're not going to have that aha moment. So what I want you to do is to read ahead of me. Go ahead of me. You will know where I'm going. Because I will tell you. All right. Um, so all of this is what we need to do. This is a whole course. So you have the whole course already set up for you. All right. And then now, when I go to assessments, you see these many pieces of assessments. These many pieces. Of, Lord Jesus, sir, so many. All right. So here, what is going to happen now? These assessments are broken up into into pieces. What do you mean, sir? All right, let us check on unit. All right, let us find something on here. So if you, if you look at unit eight, unit eight always comes with a homework piece, unit eight, a practice piece, see here so, and then the quiz piece. So you get a homework, and the homework is going to give you some levels of assistance, the quizzes, 
like what my dear friend is asking about, you have only one attempt, only one attempt. Look, quiz, one attempt. All right. Um, you can go ahead and do your practice piece first. The practice piece will help you. The practice quiz will help you with the actual quiz, right? It just gives you an, an opportunity to see what the quiz looks like. Each of these units will be completed within a given week. So I'm gonna start class today at my unit two graphs, part one. So it means then that seven, eight, nine, come next Saturday, God's willing, God's sparing night, come next Saturday. Nobody should have seven, eight, nine unanswered. Everybody's supposed to do seven, eight, nine. Um, let me tell you, you know, you know, in, in Bible days when when them people they make the golden car because they want a lowercase G O a lowercase G O D to, to worship. And Father God said he's a jealous man and him get bits and him tell the people them say here the plan. But I make the golden car to come 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 and me you're supposed to hear the praise. And when Father God rod drop on the man they miss him out. All right, hear the plan. Don't allow my wrath to fall on you. What do I mean by that? He said, if I recognize that my work is not being done, I am going to go ahead and change the date on the, ed on the ethical platform so that I will force you guys to complete my assessments in the given time frame. If you don't do that, it means then that your assessment will go to zero. Will go to zero. Let me just explain something. The student that I was telling you at the top of the class who was very rude to me in an email, and I would have explained it, and you would have been beneficiary to this. So I'm going to say this. I'm going to tell you, tell me whether or not you saw this when you were doing your exams on Edical recently. This says, the end date says 11.59 p.m. All right? This platform is based in the United States. 11.59 p.m. in Jamaica. What time is it in America? 12.59, sir. Mm -hmm. No, they are over. They are, yeah, it's going to be 1059. It's going to be 1059. Anybody Wait, remember? Any hey. maths? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't like how from money you beat up yourself, you know. At two times, don't you beat up yourself, you know, and that's not nice. No, my, you're good. Uh, I didn't <laughs> <laughs> No, my, you're good, man. So, anybody remember when you're doing your exam on Edicusa, um for that last exam period? Your exam says it's supposed to start at two o'clock and you saw three o'clock there. Anybody remember? I think so, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Man. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Because exam called me. Mr. Shah, the students are saying that they say, I said, tell them to relax them. It's a good sell. The US is an hour ahead. So if I put two o'clock, it means say they're going to start the exam from one o'clock. Right? So I have to put three o'clock so they start the exam at two o'clock. Oh, that it means, yeah, man. So I, I would have said this before, right? So let me just say it now so that going forward, nobody can get up. It's when it says um, homework unit two, graph part one, ends on the 31st of August for argument six at 11.59. Members say at 10.59 because 10.59 in Jamaica is 11.59 in America. All right, it's very important that you understand what is happening. So I can go on the platform and I can change the dates. So don't look at it to say, oh, sir, all of this end, end of August. Matter of fact, the course don't end the end of August. I think the course ends before. I think the course ends on the 20th of August. But I have the 31st of August here because I did not get, when I was setting up the Edicus off, I did not get the actual close-off date for the school year. So a lot of students look at it and say, but sir, I have time to complete the stuff. You completing the assessments in one night defeats the purpose of me wanting you to get the information in Trump side. All right, so I'm saying this to say to you, I want you to go ahead. I notice how long I'm taking, I don't start teaching nothing yet because it's important that I go through the editor's office because I, when I do this, I'm not doing this again. I'm not doing this again. So those of your friends who are not in class, yours is going to be the responsibility. 
um, to say to them, and this if you do, that is supposed to do, don't, don't do it like so. All right, it's very important. So now, when you, when you do your pieces in bite sizes, you'll recognize that the 45 pieces will go in a jiffy. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. I am sure you would have come across maybe one or two lecturers who would have given you only one piece of coursework. I mean, yeah, one piece of coursework. Outside of the course test, one piece of something. The Department of Mathematics does not work like that. And you can speak to any of the students who would have worked with me before or any of the other math lecturers. You, you're supposed to get your continuous pieces. You like what I said, boy, I'm serving on you. Like the math, you know, but I know you're getting very well. I have to pace you. And I'm going to give you the stuff in chunk sizes. When you complete that piece, then I'm going to add a little bit more something to it. And I'm going to be increasing the difficulty level as I go along. So when I reach to the end of the course now, you're ready for pre-calculus. You're ready for pre-calculus. And who to tell I may catch some of you for pre-calculus class, right, from next semester. You should be ready for pre-calculus then. So I want you to work with me and work with the process, please. I don't want anybody to say, sir, I didn't know that I have to do them every week. Yeah, man. Every week you can get work to do. All right? And then now, your Dropbox pieces, most of you will be familiar with your Dropbox. I utilize this piece a whole lot when it is that you're uploading your assessment um, for your final exam. One or two times I may give you a little project or I give you something to do and say to you, upload it to the Dropbox so I can see it and mark it and send it back to you. And of course, your grade. None of you don't have to come and say, sir, what percent am I going into the exam with? You can check your grade every single time by clicking on my grade. And um, and the whole rest. You can go through the rest. I won't spend time to go through. What is this? I won't spend time to go through the um the other stuff. My profile. You're going to use my profile to change your passwords. If you, if you want to reset your password. By the way, are you seeing the screen? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. So you can go ahead. You notice I gave everybody a default password as welcome. And so especially, you know, like um, I did project the email addresses. We don't want anybody to go into anybody's account. So go ahead and change your password to something that you remember, because I don't really see the password. I know the password. Right? So you can go ahead and 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 click on your go to my profile, click on your password. Um, some of your females, well, all of your females will see Mister there, and I deliberately put it like that because I want you to go and change that Mister to Miss or Mrs or whatever the situation is. Um, and hmm, let me see if that. Function is there. One year I did it with my students and let me just click on edit and see if it comes up. Yeah. Um, upload a picture profile. Um, I asked my students some time ago to go ahead and upload a picture profile so at least I can see what they look like when I'm looking at my editor soft stuff. I can click on a profile and say, oh, this is who. Um, Miss Tear is, and this is who Campbell is, and this is who really is, so forth and so on. So it would be nice. I'm not going to mandate you, but it would be nice, you know, especially in this online sphere, um, that you you find a picture. You're going to choose file from your com um, from your screen, from your computer, and upload a photograph so at least I can see what you look like. And I can do the same thing. Um, I can do the very same thing so that you can see or see me rather. Um, and see what it is that I look like. All right, and then um, ensure that you click save for you to save the information. All right, let me just stop sharing one minute, please. I don't understand why that thing is. There, let me go back and be sure now. All right, <clears throat> so that's what my profile is. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. 
for, for any customer. Just play around with the platform. It's a very easy and friendly user, 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 user platform. Um, it's really not difficult, trust me. Um, any questions? Anybody who has used the platform before wants to share? Um, I don't know if your teachers went through the whole um, orientation of the platform like I just did, but um, this is what it is. Any questions before we hit the road? Remember, you have to Good morning, sir. Morning, Papa. Hi, Jerome. How are you doing? <clears throat> Um, I'm okay, sir. Um, I joined a bit late, sir. So I I completely missed all of that. Um. Uh, so will the recording be sent, sir, so I can follow whatever steps you had explained? Absolutely, 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 absolutely. All right. So <clears throat> I'm seeing some I'm seeing some imposters coming into my class, you know, and they come into my class and they don't heal up the teacher. And I didn't load them up. He's poor all. You must say hello to teacher when you come to teacher's class. I don't, want, I, I don't want your good morning. Your <laughs> breakfast is not when it tastes as nice as it's supposed to taste. Or so you know, honey? speaking, so I was just letting you finish. But you can't eat me up in the chat then. Okay. Sure. So. All right. Bless your heart, honey. All right. Um, so Miss P, I will need to get you on roof. I think. All right. Let me just. Do something else and then yes, 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 yes. Um two things in answering Ruth's question. Um I have a YouTube channel that I post my, my recordings in because I don't want anybody to call me and say, sir, you can send me the recording again, please. So I have a YouTube channel. I have many videos in that YouTube channel. It is only accessible to students of the ECC. Um, and you can go ahead and, and, and use it. As a matter of fact, to be honest with you, if you're doing, say, this is calculus for argument's sake, and you may have it. Let me tell you what I plan to do. And maybe my computer people around me can help me. And they know who I'm talking about. And I'm calling no name, but anyhow, um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to purge my videos, you know, the little talky talky part of it. I want to just get that out of the video so at least I can reduce the three hour class into the maybe the two hours that it's supposed to be, the dead spaces and so forth and so on. And then I want to appropriately name the videos. I tried, especially in for, for the last couple of semesters. If I'm doing pre calculus and I'm talking about Kramer's rule. So if it is that you want some help, I can make that channel now public. Um, so you can go and click on a video that says Kramer's rule. So what I'm saying to you is when you move on to your other math courses and you have a challenge, you can always look into my channel for those, for those videos that I would have used in previous classes to help you to understand. So I'm, I'm open up, opening up my resources to you. All right? Um, and remember, when you when you finish your degree and get rich, just remember your teacher. All right, um, just just remember your teacher. So, I have a channel. Um, I'm gonna ask those of you. Well, before I do that, I I'm gonna ask someone to create a WhatsApp group. Mm. But. We're going to be very respectful with the WhatsApp. No, let me just put a disclaimer out here. Um, hold on, please. Yeah. Sir. Yes, please. Sir, you use um, the whiteboard when you're teaching? I, I use something else. But yes, I use, I use something. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, so I want I want somebody, anybody, to to put a WhatsApp group in place for me. WhatsApp is so much easier, one stop shop. You catch everybody one time. But guess what? I'm Christian. I'm Christian. Love the Father. But 
in the WhatsApp group, please do not send me or send in the WhatsApp group um, daily morning prayers and those um, little sticky something there because we don't want to offend anybody and we don't want to be using up a lot of people's um, stuff. So all those, let us keep the WhatsApp group for matters relating to pre calculus. Sorry, Foundation Concept 3. The WhatsApp group, don't get me wrong, you know, Miss Christian, if you want to send me something personal, sure, we read it. I've been blessed by it. But let us keep the WhatsApp group for WhatsApp purposes. So if you see something on TikTok that is very hilarious, I don't want to see it in the WhatsApp group. I will exit the WhatsApp group. Don't want to see it. If you see something on TikTok relating to um to graphs that you believe is beneficial to the class, like I would have done when I when I go when I scroll through and I see something um on Kramer's or I see something on Newton Ramson, I may drop it in the group and say, guys, watch that. I said, yes, sir, it's nice. And it's the same thing, sir. I said, yeah, man, let's look at that. Only if it is related to Foundation Concept 3. So if it is that you want to, the Foundation Concept 3 students all have classes um, later on today, Saturday, you want to get a message out to the students. I don't have a problem if it says students who are doing cost accounting after pre-calculus. Why am I calling pre-calculus? After Foundation Concept 3, the teacher won't be coming to class today. I don't have a problem with that, right? But um the 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 stickers business them man them something there and uh, let us keep it to i mean i'm not saying that they can't react to something that maybe a student would have said something in class he can't put a sticker there but you know let us just keep it a little a little pristine and let us be respectful right to each other so and because one of the things that i do too i encourage students to get past papers post the past paper in the whatsapp group so that everybody can get the past paper too, right? And if you don't understand something and you want to ask a question in another, in another WhatsApp group, ask a question. Mm. Ask a question, man. And it's not the teacher alone get answer. So if you ask a question and nobody answers, I'm going to say, Ava, you never say somebody ask a question, answer the question, please. All right, I'm not going to trouble Ava today. All right, so I'm going to give you, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and, and do that for me. And then now, when the group is set up, I'm going to ask one of those of you who already have my, my the link to my YouTube channel to just post it in the group so that all of you can have that before class ends today. Please and thanks. All right? So don't all rush me at once. I am not a part of this process in terms of setting up the WhatsApp group. Never have. Well, not sure. I did it recently but yeah um mm -mm. it's your responsibility that i have responsibility and so um my students all righty um i was going to do something just now oh, i know what i was going to do because we're going to move into the lesson now those of you who Came on just now. All right, while my system comes up, <clears throat> just to say that I trust that you'll be fine. I am not interested in your math ability. I don't want to hear it. I want you to keep that sad story to yourself. That's not my concern. Not my concern. Don't want to hear it. Not my concern. You know what my concern is? I want you to come to the class with an open mind. I want you to give an opportunity to, to interact with you. I don't want to hear how you were abused mentally um, or even physically too by this mathematics. Don't want to hear it. Come with an open mind. Speak honestly to me though. Sir, I am not understanding. So for example, I'm teaching and I say, okay guys, do you understand what I just said? If you remain silent, I will assume that you are understanding. You pay your school fee just like everybody else. You ask me the question. Nobody can say, she can't ask question me, or he can't ask really a question, even them ask question. Mm -mm. And anybody who said that, let me hear them, I will finish them for you. Right? 
You ask me the question. Let me say to you, who can I call upon? Boy Shante, you're the plan. Link me after class. Because me recognize that Shante have, have a difficulty. And me want to help Shante outside of class because me want to move on for argument's sake. But me not going to tell Shante, Shante, now ask me no more questions. Right? I will send Shante a private message. I'll send Shante a WhatsApp. I'll say, Shante, are you understanding? And Shante will say, boy, sir, sorry, but it not connect me. say, all right. Go on, watch what go on. I said, nothing more. Me and you will link off a class here. And then trust me, we will link and we will do the store. But you have to take the first mm -hmm. step. What is the first step? Be honest with yourself and then honest to me after. Sir, I'm not understanding. But if you want like you understand and you don't understand, you should be. Should be. But if you don't understand, I say, boy, here's the plan, sir. Hold up. Hold up, sir. Hold up. Sir. And now see that. You sense every man. Right? I don't want anybody to be my course and fail. Matter of fact. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I want you all to make me a promise. I'm seeing 20 of you here in class. Well, not 20 because I know Shanti is here twice. But any number of you in um, any number of you in the class that's the number of you that I want to pass the course. All right? So I'm going to ask that you work and work with me. All right, Jerome, go ahead with your email address. Me, please, Jerome. Uh, let me just share this so that you can double check with me. Go ahead with your email address, Jerome. Is Jerome here? Um, sir? Can I say if your email address is correct, please? Yes, sir. All right, cool. Um, um what's it? Larson, five nine. Five nine. Is there anyone else that um that just joined and without access to Edith at all? Is there anyone else in the class without access to Edith at all? Speak more, please, because I am about to move. Um, I know these persons are here already. Um, I know Marva have her access already, and Krishna has his access, and Uncle has her access. Stephanie, is Stephanie here? And Alicia, no? Ashantia, no? Sigre, not here? Julian? And who is it is? All right, so let me just save this. Uh, stop share. And, um, YouTube guys register.
All right, the ones who just came in, um, can I double check some things? You now have access, and then I'm going to give you, I'm going to ask for um, a few minutes. Let me just sort of something. So, Larcy, you can go ahead and Jerome, you can go ahead and log on to me, please. Your email address is your username, and the default password is welcome. Okay, sir. Um, I made the WhatsApp group and I put the link in the chat so you can Great. just press it and join. Great. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, sir. And I added you also. Ah, great. Yes. Thanks. Thank you. Can you have me, please? Yes. All right, this is what about 10 o'clock. Um, class goes up to 11.30, true or false? Something like that, sir. So yeah. what, is the, what was the default password again? Welcome. Welcome? Mm -hmm. All over case. All right, thank you. <clears throat> Let me know, Jerome, when you get on. Okay, sir. Waiting on you, Jerome. Sir, I'm waiting on you. Are you in now? Um, I'm, 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 I'm about sir. The laptop okay. just put up. 
No, no. Oh, this is not one night, man. This is really for much longer time. All right. Um, let me. All right, guys. So again, um, I'm going to I'm going to welcome you to Foundation Concept Three, and trust that this these next <clears throat> ten weeks or so will be beneficial to both to to, to both of us, um, students and teacher alike. I I, I want you to make me a promise that you will pass this course. Um, it's not a difficult course. You have only two areas to look at. Um, both areas will have many other areas to it, sub areas to it. But just do the very best you can. If you have a challenge, I'm going to ask that you, you know, reach out to me. Um, to let me know. Now, if you log on to Edicosol for the first time and you did not get all green ticks, can you indicate for me, please? Did everybody get all green ticks or somebody got a red X? So the only red tick that I got was a pop up ad thing. That's and so that's did, did, you, did you fix it? No, you just, just need to download a pop up. Uh, no, 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 you don't need to. I'm going to stop sharing and ask you to share your screen. Don't touch anything else on your computer. I want you to stop. I want, I'm going to stop sharing. No, but I'm not sharing. One second. All right, go ahead and share for me, please. No, I have to switch the um, computer. Give me a second. Speaking of Halo. I want to use his as a demonstration, um, you know, what to do. If you're not seeing, if you're not getting all green ticks, um, when you're starting your assessments, and you're going to a secondary page, you're going to be having a problem to see that secondary page because it's going to be preventing the page from coming to the forefront. So it's very important. So I have to spend the time to talk about that now. Is everybody else okay with the with the with the with all green ticks, or is there somebody else with a green with a red X? Okay, I think I'm muted and you're not hearing me. No, sorry, I heard you. Okay, no, it's just like Marvin, I didn't hear nobody answer that's why. <laughs> Right, I guess then. everybody's everybody else is okay. Um, uh, sir, yes, sir. Go ahead, hon. The the person that you had, um, like myself, do we need to change password again? Um, my profile. Yes. Just, right. Just click on my profile, and then you'll see something about email address. Don't change your email address because you have to use your ECC email address to get access 
just click on change password and just remember the password that you're putting in and you should be good to go. Okay. All right. Thank you. No problem. Shakir, come on. Sure. Is that like a extra thing? Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. My login now. You know, when I saw 11.30 myself, I was like, hmm, why 11.30? It, I don't even know, I need to speak to them about it, you know, because, no, man, I need to speak to them about it because I'm going to have problems. It is the 18th, let me just double check something here. <clears throat> Start. Sorry, sorry, this thing is taking a lot longer than it's supposed to. All right, is there anybody else in the class who has a red X can just share so that they can show, demonstrate? All right, okay, so nobody else has it. All right, so do, do me a favor, um, Shaquille. Go to your search bar. Go to the yeah. right of your search bar. Ah. You will see a blue and white box with a red X. Click on that box. It should ask you allow from, always allow from Edico. Check that box and then click done. And then when you go back to the Edicosoft page, click check again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's okay, great. All right. Um, yes, Jerome. Uh, hold on, listen. Um, just a moment. Oh, all right, sir. Um, I'm just logging in now, sir. Let me see. Um, I don't know if I write something different. Let me see some pop up blocker in the uh, X today. Can you share your screen, please? Sir, I'm doing it from my laptop. Um, yeah. I'm logging with, with my phone. Okay. All right. Do my favor. Um, your phone. You click on the three bars that you've seen to the top, top left hand corner. Top left hand corner. Or maybe you, you, may, you may see it at the bottom of the, I don't know. I, I using, what kind of phone are you using? So, um, I'm, I'm logged into Edicosoft um, on my laptop, but I'm logged into class on my, on my phone. And that's why yeah, I look on the you. top, the top bar, especially like the search. When you're signing, it's, it's basically like the, um, but where you can put in search. Yeah, the search bar. Yeah, so like a window, they like a computer as well. It's supposed to expand it, click on it, and so on. Um, okay. Yeah, say, click, what? Make always. There you go. click always. Always, yeah. yeah. And then click done. Done. And then click check again. Okay, check again. Ah, all the keys now. All right, good job. Good job. Right. So, what do I press? Continue? Um, say it again. So, I click continue now. Yeah, click continue now. Once you have all green ticks, you continue now, yeah. Ah, I'm good. Mm Mm -hmm. All right, so now we are all together. Let us go. Cool. All right, so look at where I'm going. I'm going to tutorials. 
and I'm going to go to unit two, graphs, part one. I'm going to go to unit two, graphs, part one. There's a plus sign here. I'm going to click on plus sign to expand. Unit two, graphs, part one. Unit two, graphs, part one. And then I'm going to go to 3.1. Basic functions, including nonlinear functions. Click on the plus sign to the left. It opens up into a lot of other things. And then I'm going to click on the basic function. Sir. Yes, please. We are supposed to do what you're doing or just watch you? No, no, no just watch me. I'm just, showing you, I'm just showing you how it is that we, oh. we get to it. Right. I'm just showing you how I get, I, I get to it. So this is what this is what I want you to do. Because I want all eyes to be on the screen now. As I said before, for those of you who... And this really is for... My first year students, always very excited to have first year students. Um, my other students that I've interacted with in the past would be familiar with how it is that I do my stuff. How I normally teach is I will go ahead and prepare questions ahead of time and use those questions in class to teach. When I'm finished with what it is that I would have used in class, I would send it in the WhatsApp group as a PDF document for your reference and also your editor soft access and also the recording. For this course in particular, 80% of what I will be using in class will be the editor soft platform. There are other areas that I would have prepared for you or will be preparing for you to send off to you as a PDF document that I'll be using in class. Why, sir, that as me come to you is something is 80% online because the course is nearly graphs, as I showed you. And for me to do the graph on, on um, for me to plot the graph, I would have to go and plot the graph on paper and scan it. And there are some things that I could animate to the graph that I can't animate using my Microsoft Word, but I can animate using the Microsoft platform. So this is why I use it. So I know, I think Marco asked a question earlier. Um, yes, I'll be, using the, I'll be using the whiteboard, but for the most part, I'll be using the online, um, online version just to demonstrate because it is, um because of the use of the graph so there are areas that i will demonstrate especially when i'm going to compete in the square i will definitely have to demonstrate those areas for you so it is that you can see what is happening all right very important all right so we need to look at some basic rational functions you need to look at some basic rational functions anyway to the hand pointing that's where we go so we'll click on it basic rational functions now it says the rational function f of x is equal to one over x and g of x is equal to 1 over x squared are considered to be basic rational functions. Jesus, Father. Tell the man, say, I don't like my son. And the first thing the man give her f of x. Don't worry about it. f of x is like y. I'm just giving you something that, that relates to, 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 to what it is that we are doing. Um, it's just a function. And I'm saying to you that function is, in, is 1 over x. And that, um, and that the function there is one over x squared. Um, one over. Uh, a team member is calling me. And I don't want to break a class. All right, good. So, so this is it now. So don't worry about what it is that you're seeing here as f of x is equal to one over x. It's no biggie. It's no biggie. So then what is f of x? f of x is like you're talking about pound sterling, Jamaican dollars, even not call that, US dollars, the Cayman dollar, you know, it's just the it's just naming of something, right? Oh, and then the one over x is, would be the conversion rate. Is what it is that we use to just get it back now to that the Jamaican currency. So it's just a naming of something. So I'm naming my function f of x. And in the other one, I call it g of x. So just like we have Ali, 
and I have Shanti, and I have Krishna, and I have the rest of the class. I just so many in the function, right? So many in the function, and then each of the function will be like each of the student group. Each of you will be a different person, all right? So now we need to graph y equals f of x. You notice they never say one over x again because this is the naming of the function. The function is named f of x. Which of the functions, sir? The function one over x. The function one over x is named f of x. So we're not talking about it. I don't have to talk about one over x again because I know what I know that f of x is one over x. Case in point. Sometimes when I and especially there's a team member of mine. Whenever we're talking, we call math codes. So matter of fact. For those of you who are doing the business pre-calculus, you would have Mr. Nicholson for the um, pre-calculus for this summer. So Mr. Nicholson and I are talking. Um, Sir Shand, um, I have a challenge with 1201. Okay, no problem. What challenge do you have? Because 1201 is pre-calculus, math 1201. So when he says 1201, I know what he's talking about. If we're having a conversation, say, oh, Sean, 2301 human problems, you know, I know he's talking about business calculus because it's math 2301. So it's just talking about it. I don't have to call business calculus or pre calculus, you know, especially when you reach discrete mathematics and algebra. Who has time to call all of them words there? We just say 1105. All right? So we know exactly what it is that we're talking about. Sir, what's the point? It's just a naming of a function, right? So g of, f, um, g of x is the naming of one function, and f of x is the naming of another function. So look at the screen. We're going to draw the function g of x, f of x, which is 1 over x. We're drawing the function. We're drawing the function. Um, there's something special that is going to be happening to that that function, something very special. Can anybody tell me what is so special about that function? Just look at it and tell me what is so special about that function. Anyone? Somebody? What do you know about what do you know about one over x? So it means the same as f of x. It is the same as f of x. Yeah, but there's something about one over x. Let us. Let, yeah. What I want is I want you to look at one over x. There's something about one over x that is so is so is so is so special. You know. Hmm. There's, so, there's something nice, there's something, there's a constraint to one over X. One over X is very friendly with people, but there are some people, it don't, there's one person it just don't talk to. Why, well, sir? Mm -mm. Look again. I we're talking about, we're talking about numbers now, digits. So it is friends with everybody. Everybody, with the exception of one person, him and that one person, always in malice. Is it zero? Yes. Tell me why it's a zero. Is it because it has no value? Because what? Because, because what? I think both both people answer well. Go ahead, go ahead first. No, I was just saying, is it that going to equal to zero? Okay, all right, fine. Try to calculate the piece. Put one over zero until it's equal to zero. Hello. I want everybody to do that, you know. 
So it says it can't. It said that it can't, right? Yes, sir. How, how do you know that it can't? What, what message you got? It, when I divide the one over zero, it just says mm -hmm. wrong, can't divide by zero. Okay. Is it because zero has no value, sir? No, it, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. So come, so come with that one there. Mm -hmm. Mm. You're right, it can't. One over zero is undefined. Undefined. We can't talk about it. We shouldn't talk about it. Zero in a, in a rational function. Sir, what do you call a rational function? It says here, for rational functions, let me spotlight so you can follow me where I go. It says rational function. A rational function. Rational comes from the word ratio. See here, R A T I O, and ratio is a is is is, is a fraction. Numerator, denominator. All right. So we talk about rational functions. We're talking about fractions. All right. Now, yeah. So you can't have a zero existing in the denominator. It just does not work. You cannot have a zero existing in the denominator. You can't build one house from a circular rock. Tell me if it's truthful or me telling lies. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Some people don't answer like a let me tell. Talk to me. True, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if okay, if um if you build a house on a circular stone rock, it means say when you're going inside of your house, you have to jump right into the center. You can't go nowhere else because if you go anywhere else, the house is going to topple down. All right. So you can't have a zero existing in the denominator. Now, let me explain and correct something that Shaheed says. And this is why I love when students speak because I, 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 I'm able to get a glimpse of their understanding so that I can then correct misconceptions. Shaheed says, sir, I actually don't know value you. Hey, Shaheed, on you for me, son. Hello? Shakira, are you there? Sorry, sir, I was distracted. Give me a, I, I apologize. Repeat, sir. Yeah. And I'm just saying to you, you said that because the zero has no value. So I want to ask you a question. Suppose I'm a bank teller and you came in here with a check for 100,000. Your, your salary, you know, and you come with 100,000 for the change. And I said, sure, the zero has no value. Let me take up one of the zeros. We can't talk business, don't. Hmm. Okay. Okay. You yeah. take away one of the zeros and from what my check. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. You're all right with that? No, sir. <laughs> so that this is very cool. <laughs> Why is it disrespectful, Shaki? Sir, because like <laughs> you literally just robbed me some of the money when we work out. Some of the money? I'm uh, most of the money me rob you. <laughs> exactly like uh uh yeah okay. that's, I'm that's so the money. Mm. because the difference between ten thousand or hundred thousand is ninety thousand something wrapping most of the money all right with that said do you think that zero has a value in that case zero yes it does have a value sir in all the cases it is a number to be respected you hear yes, so so just use that as an example <laughs> and I like the fact that he jumped out and said, No, sir, disrespectful that, sir, I'm a money error. Mm -mm. Zero, Mr. Zero. All right, watch this now. So we're saying that this function has a very special name. So it's called the reciprocal function. No. When you move into pre-calculus, the first thing in pre-calculus is when you talk about indices. 
and we move on from indices into logarithms. This reciprocal function is what you're going to be hearing about a whole lot. Now, as I go along through this course, I'm going to tell you where you need to pick up the other courses, the other areas. Moving to calculus one, reciprocal function is going to be your next best friend. All right. So changing a function to its numerical form gives this here. Watch me now. I'm using different values of x. So where did you get those values of x from? We just pick them out. I pick them out, an equal number of the negative numbers and an equal number of the positive numbers. Oh, I see, sorry, so the sequence, negative three, negative two, negative one, and then what? So where zero is? Remember the function is undefined at zero. So I'm not using it. It's undefined, so I'm not using it. So we have my one, my two, and my three. Let us evaluate something here now. If this x is a negative three, I'm gonna have one over negative three, which is a negative a third. See to yourself. But sir, is a three that is negative, why put the one to be negative? It no matter. Anyway, anyway, the negative sign, the inner the function, the whole function is negative. So we could have called it negative one over three, or one over negative three, or negative one third, all mean the same thing. Get me? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Um, check these and tell me if you agree with them also. Zero missing, sir. Why? Somebody play my piece. Mm -hmm. Why did I say that zero is going to be missing? Hello, somebody. But it looks correct, sir. It looks correct apart from the zero being missing, but it looks correct, though. Yeah, man. And I'm saying to you, I'm saying to the class, why is it that the zero is missing, class? I said it earlier. Why is the zero missing? This is undefined. With mm -hmm. the zero. It's undefined. So because the zero is undefined, it makes it undefined. It doesn't exist. I'm not putting the zero there. Right. Mm hmm Watch me now. Because once I have my table of values, you know, I'm going to then go to my Cartesian plane, look for where x equals negative 3, and find a corresponding value where y is equal to negative 1 third. Plotting and joining these points gives the graph of the function f of x. Watch it, you know. Saw that? Sir, do that work over? Mm -hmm. Watch it. These are going to be highlighted when the points are plotted, and each column is going to be highlighted when the points are plotted. Watch it. So this is this. If this is zero, negative one, negative two, negative three. So this point here is this. The negative two to negative a half. This is negative two to negative a half. Negative one to one, so you try to so. Then one to one, one corresponds to one. This two corresponds to a half, and this three corresponds to a third. So I'm drawing the graph like that. This y-axis now becomes an 
asymptote. Asymptote. Sir, the first day of class, I use big rubbing can to spell it. Not a problem. Asymptote. It means that nobody can cross it. Can't cross it. This red line will get as close to this y axis as possible. It can't cross it. See, it is so close. It looks like it's all a kiss. Can't cross it. But, sir, why only the y axis? The x axis, too. Absolutely. Can't cross it. Six problems and asking two. Like x and y. Right? So it tells me that there's a region inside here that does not exist. And not care or trauma you claim that you are. You can't have Shaquille right here so, and Jerome right here so, and the two of them are using a rope and I draw them to something and commit them to something like this. Can't happen because it just does not exist. This section in here does not exist. There's no value of X or Y that can make in here so exist. This is the graph of 1 over x. You must know to identify your basic graph shapes. Your basic graph shapes. Let me look to 1 over x squared. Again, I'm going to use my table of values. I'm using the same values. Why am I not using 0? Because 0 squared is 0. And again, I'm going to have 1 over 0. And again, that now will work it. All right. I want you to take a minute or two to substitute these x values in this function and tell me if you agree with the y values starting now. I agree, sir. Like seriously, I asked a question, it's just one person answering. And I asked at the start of the class that Mr. Has talked to me, well. Agree, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so again, I'm gonna ask you to look to see the columns will be highlighted. Look to see what is gonna happen over this side. Are you seeing that? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So you still know? Again, there is no way that the graph will be able to pass this by axis here. But there's something special about this one. There's something special about the other one too, you know. And when I move to my transformational geometry, you'll hear more about it. Mm. Let me ask you to go. Can you describe this graph on this side to this graph on this side? Oh, 
Look at the time table. What are you seeing? I know you did some levels of graphs in um in foundation concept two. What what are you seeing right there? So you mean like the name of the angle? No, not the angle, but you're going in the same direction. Um, Are parallel. Um, okay. I like I like I like the, com the, the, the commentary, but no. Um they're symmetrical, sir. Okay, okay, we're getting warm on. So they are symmetrical. Um, and how do you know that? Sir, so both sides are the same. Mm -hmm. All right, the both graphs are the same when flipped. Right. I think if I'm explaining that properly. Mm, you're getting somewhere, Shaki. And I keep saying this so, so much like Krishna. I had to look at why I was answering because Krishna was talking. Um yeah, you are you 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 are you are you are there, but a little bit more. Okay, so look at it guys. So he's correct. But look at it and tell me. There's yeah. something else that you can tell me. Why? Is there any relation with the with any relationship with the axis, with the x-axis or the y-axis? Mm. Mm. Do you agree that the y axis will be the axis of symmetry? Because if I fold this graph along this piece here and take this piece and kiss on this piece, will this graph kiss exactly to this graph? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. so, 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 so look at it. If I fold the graph right here, so along the y axis, and this is why I'm saying to you, I have to use ouch, this thing about here. If I take this graph and I fold the graph, freeze the graph right here, so then take up this piece and fold it over to this piece. This red graph on this piece here will kiss this graph on this piece. Not only that, but this point will correspond to this point. This point corresponds to this point, and this point right here will correspond to this point right here. So, so we say that yeah, it is symmetrical, as Shakir says, with my line of symmetry being my y axis. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Then, sir. Why never talk about any access of symmetry right here, sir? I could have. There's a line of symmetry right here also, but you're not seeing it. So that's why I didn't talk about it earlier. It's going to be an imaginary line. If I draw my line from this end right through the center and come so, and then I fold the graph through the diagonal here, so, to the center. Come on, yes, so, and then take a piece here and fold it over to this piece. This graph will kiss this graph. You see that? Yes, sir. All right, yes. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back to that because that is gonna be some transformation. We're gonna come back to that. All right, we're gonna come back to that one. And um All right, let's go. So we finish with that. We finish with this one. You see what is happening here. We're going to look at the basic power function now. I'm using the platform, and I'm showing you how to go back because I want when you're doing it. You can manage it on your own. 
my f of x equals x. Let y be equals to f of x, which is equals to x. This is also known as the identity function. Mm -mm. Why is that known as the identity function? Y is equals to x. Oh, because if y equals x, and the equal sign can be read both sides from left to right and right to left. That means y equals x and x equals y. So whatever y equals to, x over equals to the same something. Can anybody say that? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So that's why, that's why that is called a basic identity function graph. Teacher? Whatever y equals to, because remember, y is equals to x. See here? Y is equals to f of x. As I said before, f of x is equals to y. So y is equals to f of x, and all of that is equals to x. Whatever x is, y is the same thing. See here, so boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam. And I put my graph, the top of the moment, get a straight line. So I see that zero is in this one, though. Ah, because I don't have a rational function. What is a rational function again? A fraction. A fraction. Mm -hmm. When I have a rational function, I have a fraction. But these here now don't have any. If you look up here, bam, bam, no bam, bam, no fraction. Yeah, so zero can work. All right, and, and it is pretty simple. Going forward, if you look at this, this is my x squared graph. The value of x is going to be squared. So negative 2 squares is the same thing as negative 2 times negative 2, which is positive 4. Negative 1 squares is the same thing as negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1. 0 squares is going to be 0. 1 squares is 1, and 2 squares is 4. The graph is special, though. You see that graph? That's my parabolic graph. That's my parabolic graph. That's my parabolic graph. It's a parabola. And if you come from America, they call it parabola. We in a we call it parabola because we give an emphasis on the first. Vowel sound. So, like what we call data, D A T A, we say data, parabola. In America, they call it data because the first vowel sound has a short sound. So, then we will call it parabola, they call it parabola. All right? Same difference though. Data, data, parabola, parabola, same difference. Yeah, man. But guess what? The one there is very special. This one here, because you notice it's come in this section of the stuff. It can come down here, so also. But as we get to that point, I'll talk about it. But just remember, this graph is up here, so I can come down here, so the graph. careful. Let us point out something you notice. This is a positive x squared. Here's a, we have not seen a positive sign, but it's a positive x squared. When the graph comes down here, so we have a negative sign in front of the something. Just remember that. Soon come back to it. Press pause. My x cube graph is what I call my sexy graph. Very curvilous. Watch it. x cube I'm using the values of x. I'm substituting this into the function. Negative 2 cubed is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, which is a negative 8. Negative 1 cube is negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. When I multiply two negative numbers, I get a positive number. When I multiply two negative numbers, I get a positive number. When I'm multiplying an 
even number of negative numbers, my result is positive. When I multiply an odd number of negative numbers, my result is negative. When I'm multiplying and the signs are the same, my result will always be positive. A negative number times a negative number is a positive number. And a positive number times a positive number is a positive number. When I'm multiplying and the signs are different, my result will be negative. When I'm multiplying and my signs are different, my result will be negative. A positive number multiplied by a negative number is a negative number. Some foundational rules that we should know, but if you don't know, I'm telling you, don't be afraid of it. When I multiply two negative numbers, I get a positive number. When I multiply two positive numbers, I get a positive number. So when I'm multiplying and the signs are the same, either two negative or two positive, the result is going to be positive. If I'm multiplying two numbers and one sign positive and the other sign negative, my result is going to be negative. What is also important is that when I'm multiplying by a negative number to an even power, like two, that result will always be positive. You see it here? The result is always positive. But when I'm raising a negative number to an odd power, like one, three, five, seven, nine, them odd numbers there, yeah, the result is going to be negative. But of course, when I raise it to a positive number, it still remains positive. So that's why I have a negative eight and a negative one here. That's my cubic function. And look at why I call it my sexy graph. See? Curvilous. It curves. Comes this way, comes that way, bam, and curves. This is what those people who were born in the 80s know about Coca-Cola bottle shape. This is my curvilous curve. But, sir, this so curve... Lying. Say it again. No, I say you weren't lying. I'm on the curve. Let's just curve. All right. Same way, someone. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Same way, someone. Guess what? No. Somebody may say, sir, this one here, this piece on the side here, so look like the one here, sir. You see why I can't use my notes on the stuff because I've been the graph so many times. It looks like this piece, sir. Yes, it does. But remember, I said to you that when you raise an odd number, like this three up here, so, with a negative number, with the numbers over here, so, the result is going to be negative. See, no matter what? You know, like some tub and pitney, you hold them on up and so you just going to drag them and say, come on, you know, tell you, come on, come on, road with me, how long you take to get ready? Yeah. And of course, you know, we do that, but that's abusive, eh? But this piece here, because it's negative, the x squared here is positive, and this side is a positive side of the graph. Anywhere above the x-axis will be the positive side of the graph. Anywhere beneath the x-axis is going to be the negative side of the graph. So because I want to get this node to be the negative side, right here, so at the pivot, I'm going to reflect with this line being my axis of symmetry. What am I going to do? Okay, photograph paper right here, so photograph paper right here, so you know, and bend it over to the side and trace this piece that is going to come like so. And then I so come and have a nice curvilous graph that is being plotted. Picture this in your head and picture you, me, me carrying it all the way down here, so. Remember, you know, it was up here, so. And then, no matter what, carry coming out. See, yourself? Boom! 
So if this had been a positive number, a, 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 a positive, an even number, this piece would have reflected up here. So, right? So watch me now. Don't this look like the graph of x squared when it comes to so don't it? Talk truth. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But a piece of yours, you know, a piece of can be positive, you know, because the value is a negative, so we just have to carry it down here. So, so this is my shapeless, curveless Coca Cola bottle shaped graph. And if you write that on the exam paper, mark it wrong. You're going to call it the basic cubic function sir. graph. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> sir, that, but sir, that, but that was all was taught, sir. I know, I know, project. I know. And guess what? All when the recording come, I'm going to deny it. Me to say that is my twin, not me is my twin. All right, let's go. Um, so I want you to watch what is happening here. So now you know this X is written to a magical number. So we're not seeing a number mm -hmm. to the first power. But sorry, not writing it up there. I said, I have to write it. Once it's raised to the first power, I don't need to write it, but I know it's there. Watch me. X to the first, X to the second, X to the third, X to the fourth, X to the fifth. And if I want, I can go X to the sixth and X to the seventh and X, but we're going to look at an observation. <sighs> Mathematics is a study of pattern. And um, you see, once me see how it behave, with this, uh, or it behave with this, uh, or it behave with this. I'm gonna reach a fifth example. After me reach a fifth example, I don't need no more, you know. For me reach a fifth example, I don't need no more example because I supposed to be able to see some pattern. Case in point. You see, to me, see the pattern in the gas prices. If I'm my yard, you know. If I'm not going road, I'm not going no road. You know, one, one of the times I say, if you like your drive out, you better walk out. Cause the gas price they are wicked. So you see a pattern. So guess what? He says I can't. You know, years ago we used one thousand two hundred dollars fill up my car. Thirteen thousand, fourteen thousand dollars fill up my car. I was like, what? 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 what, what, what? And my salary now move. But see them thirteen thousand and buy one bicycle. Me get into shape. And right from my yard, go on 137 Mountain View. And right from back. Because me no say. If me use three months gas money, me supposed to carry my bicycle. Me not ask you. Right? Or me do me not ride when sun hot and when rain and fall. Watch the pattern now. X to the first. X to the second. X to the third. I am going to touch the X to the fourth. So I think I, I see what's going to happen. What's going to happen? Tell me, mm -hmm. So just like with um x, x squared, mm -hmm. x four x x cube. What? I don't know what the fourth one is. X to but the x, x to the fourth power mm -hmm. is going to be up again. And x to the fifth is going to be what? And going to be down like this one right now. All right. All right. So you're on your way to passing the course. Very nice. So x to the fourth. Is going to look, see, it's all positive. So x to the fourth is going to look like my, my x squared. See, that's what? Yeah, man, look like my x squared. And my x to the fifth, because the odd power, so we have some negative numbers, it will look like my sixth graph. And that's what mathematics is it's a study of patterns. So if you see what a few of these patterns look like, you can guess to me what x to the tenth graph will look like. X to the tenth graph will look like which one of these up here. So x to the tenth look like which one? That's a question. Talk to me now. You like this one, sir? Which one? The... X to the second, x to the third, x to the fourth. To x to the 10 is going to look like the x like, squared. Um, two, not two, like x one, no. three, and five. Mm -mm. No man, x hmm? to the 10, 10, you remember 10 is that even number, you know? Like two. 
So they look like X squared. Yeah, man. X to the 10 is going to look like X squared because 10 is even. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. I didn't right. even know I'm bringing this photo with that. That's true. X to the 11 will look like X cubed. You see, say X to the 5 look like X cubed. And X to the 4 look like X squared. What's the point I'm making? These are going to be my reference graphs. X to the 100 will look like X squared. Why, sir? 100 um, even. X to the 101, any mean minimum. This one, sir, why? 101 odd. So let us look at the observation. For the graphs of y equals x to the n, the smaller the 2n, the flatter the bottom of the parabola shape will you have. I mean, parabola shape graph will be as shown in the figure. Sir, I not understand what you're talking about. All right, watch me. You see x squared, the graph tear out. And x to the four, the graph squinge up. Everybody see that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Let me show you something. It is important that you follow me in class. It is important that you try to understand what is happening. Can you see my screen? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right. That's my X squared graph. That's my X squared graph. Come my X to the fourth graph. You see it gets squinge up? Talk to it. Yes, sir. Watch my X to the sixth graph. You see, you get the title? Oh, second so closer to the y axis. Very good. So, the bigger the x value, and the closer it gets to the y axis. As also the flatter it becomes. You remember, the, you remember what we said, read on Erico? Oh, you meant um, right there to the zero. Right. So it says the smaller the two n, the flatter the bottom of the parabola shape will be as shown in the figure. You know, I see so well in other figure, which is why I went to, the, to that part. This is part of what you said. The back, the, 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 the back of the graph, the bottom of the graph, not the back, but the bottom of the graph is going to be flat, flattened. See here? Don't the blue graph look like it's flat? Talk through. Yes, sir. And this is x to the 10. But the point is, it gets closer to my um, x axis, my y axis, sorry. So. Sir, question. Uh -huh. So if it did go like higher and higher, would it eventually look like a triangle in a sense? The triangle or rectangle, you want to see? Oh, I thought it would have, the, the bars would have gone inside. Oh, my oh, 
Oh, come on. So you see? It, it, still remain, it, it still remains as a as a rectangle. And I've gone to X to the 1000. You see what I'm saying? All right. Let me show you something now. Watch me. Let me deactivate this one. Go away. Watch me now. I'm going to put another square right here. So, so I'm going to have two graphs within a line. Then, sir, oh, you're not seeing the red. You're not seeing the red because the red is sharper than the blue. The blue is sharper than the red. So, the blue is going to superimpose in that. But watch this. Look at what I'm going to do. I am going to call this. Sorry, that's not what I meant to write. Still not what I meant to write. All right. Too far out. Okay, so if you look at your graph, this piece of the graph here is going to be known as a radical graph. A radical graph. A radical graph. And as we'll show you on the, in, the, in the tutorials, you'll find it in the tutorials. It's just that I'm using this other software, which is why I'm speaking about it. It's a radical graph. Now, let me let me let me suggest something to you. I keep telling people that mathematics is in every sphere of life. And now I'm going to jump to the woodworker. It's so when the woodworker sees a, or decides that he has some nice cherry wood. And he's going to put them together and make a nice little pattern and then make a nice little fruit bowl out of it. This is what is happening. So when this here blue line is somewhat rotated about this X axis, you're gonna have a bowl that is created. You can have a bowl from this red one too, you know, which is my parabola. You can have a bowl here but it can get to, let me put this back at two. Mm -mm. Let me use this other example on here. And put this at two, and then put this as 0.5. And then show you this. Let me deactivate this one. So see what I'm doing here now? So both graphs are similar in shape. This so what is happening? It's moving away from the x-axis, the y-axis. It's, it's moving away. It's moving away. Uh oh, call out. Oh, wow, you're you're misbehaving. You're way too wide. You're very loose. Uh, look at this one here now. Look at this one here now. I change it because I don't want to reach, I don't want to touch the rotation one with the radical graph. I will come back to it now because the rotation is part of the syllabus. But I don't want to jump to the rotation just yet. Watch me. The reason I change it and put this one is because the next topic after this is what I'm going to talk about. So let me just put it right here. So, so when I move into it, you can make a quicker um, correlation. Watch me. So when the when the um the woodworker wants to make a bowl, I am looking at this piece here. 
this green one looking wide enough to make a bowl. And the person may say, we want a deeper bowl. It's what happens. It gets wider. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. the coefficient of x squared will tell me how far I'm supposed to get my bowl. So, guess what? Anybody ever go um, one store and see all of the bowls they make and all of the bowls are the same size? You know, you go and, especially if you're a baker, and you go and see them say, um, you have a three cup. A three cup bowl. And you wonder, oh, they get a three cup bowl. Every time they make it, they get three cups out of it. Anybody ever wonder that? Or is me alone? Yes, sir. Not... Yeah, man. So, listen to me. Mathematics is around you. Every single thing that you do in this life, mathematics is around you. When you go a road and you have to go close to put on, and you can say, no, man, this, this don't match this. It's mathematics that you know. When you say there's something no match, you're looking at pattern, sequencing of stuff. So you have a red something in a dad to say, yeah, man, never wear one red pants because it, it brings out the red in the shirt. It's mathematics. Not English or POB. Mathematics. So math is around you every single day. So I don't know how you say all that much. And you do my all when you cook, a dash of this and a dash of that and a pinch of this. So how much I say, you know, no, 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 we just put in that in there. It means you're good at mathematics and you're good at ratio. Because you know how much meat you are used, and you put in and you put in the, 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 the season according to the amount of meat that you have. And if you have bacon and pudding, you put in as much sugar and nutmeg and vanilla and so forth based on that. Right? It is mathematics. So I'm saying to you, let me just break the secret. And let me give you another example before I break the secret. Sometimes the pass and especially like, yeah, yeah, you see them most in the I'm seeing them now in Jamaica, but mostly in the United States. You will see people with their, you know, you go to the stores and you find either interior or exterior doors with those little panels on the inside. And you know, you may say, Wow, this design is very nice and it's supposed to take only for work. Live, no work. What am I them do is use a computerized machine and then put in something like this. Let me say 0 0.15 x squared. And the machine just carve it out with the 0 0.15 x squared. And it can make 100 of the same bowls by just putting the 0 0.5 x squared in at the computer formula or something, and it knows what to do. You don't have to physically be there to guide the machine. All you need to do is put the wood under the stove. And you can go sit and take a five. Matter of fact, even more than a, less than a five, because since it knows what to do, it just moves. And you know, oftentimes they just go on YouTube and just watch these machines go. Mathematics. And you may say that the woodworker don't know much, lies. You better know one and three quarter plus two thirds of that work ought to be. And quick, quick time, you can tell them headspace. Now you know, I've got to draw a, 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 a rational function and draw for LCM and work out something quick, quick time. You know, mathematics is around you every single time. All right. So it's just for me to show you what it looks like right there. For me to show you what it looks like right there. All right, no problem. I'm seeing that message. Let me pause right here and ask, what is it that you're not seeing or what is it that you're seeing um, with the graph? Julian Williams. Hello, Julian, good morning. Good morning, sir. I don't want anybody to be left 
alone. Hmm, talk to me. Mm -hmm. What about the graph that you're not seeing? Let us let us do a quick review. As we have about 12 minutes left. My straight line graph, which is my identity function. X is equal to y, y equals x. I have my table of values, putting them on a the graph. I'm going to get a straight line. Look at that and tell me if you are in agreement. Students, you're not talking to me. There are some of you who have not even unmuted. And, and this is one of the things, you know, I learned the voices by voice differentiation. So you see, every time Shaquille speaks, I am thinking that it's Krishna because I know, I know Krishna's voice because I've interacted with Krishna before. I know Larsia's voice. So if any one of you starts speaking to me, I know who it is. I don't want to have to be jumping to look at the participants to see who is talking. But I would now need to find in my headspace that differentiating tone between Krishna and, and Shaquille. And God forbid, this is how those persons who are blind also know people differently by voice differentiation. When you don't speak to me, guys, I don't know who you are. I need for you to speak. Don't just say, oh, somebody will ask a question. No. I want to talk to you. So, are you all in agreement with that straight line graph, y equals x? Can you all see that? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. My y equals x squared. I've been going through the y equals x squared. Remember, when you raise a negative number to an even power, your result will always be positive. See it here, sir? And that's why the graph is in a positive quadrant. Positive quadrant. This is my first quadrant. And it's quad, quad means four down. See here, one, two, three, four. My first quadrant, my second quadrant, my third quadrant, and my fourth quadrant. So my first and third, my first and second quadrants are positive because those sit atop the x axis. My third and fourth quadrants are negative because they sit below the x axis. My x cube looks like my x square, but because the power is odd, I'm going to have my negative results when I raise my negative values to it, to the third power. So this piece of the x cube graph is going to reflect in, in this quadrant here, or beneath the x line. It's going to, it, and beneath the x line is negative. So it's going to reflect into the negative um, quadrants of the graph. See here? I'm not sure what they're talking about. Let me talk about. So had it been positive, this line here would move up to here. Let me show you something.
All right. This is a reflection of this. Why is this blue line in the in, in this side? Because there are negative values here. When I raise negative values to an odd power, my result is negative. That's why I have that to be negative. But for this one, when I raise a negative value, I'm gonna always have it being positive. All right, I'm gonna give you Two minutes to look at that, and then I'm going to come back to you in the in the next four minutes of the class to wrap up. Give me half a second. Hello, how are we? Somebody talk to me. How are we? Are we yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, man, you're, you're understanding a little bit better now? Or is the same understanding that you have? Um, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, you will have access to this recording when I send it off. Oh, sorry, thank you. Um, one of you, um, past students of mine, please, can you drop the YouTube um, link in the, in the WhatsApp group, please? Yes, sir, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, so as soon as the, the recording becomes available, I'll put the recording in the in the in the in the uh, attach a recording to the in the channel. But what I want you to do though is to you you have access to everything that I've done because as I said before, this course is based on graphs. And you notice I'm moving from one graphing software to the next graphing software because I want to highlight some matters where. We, I can't manipulate one, but I can man manipulate the other. I am doing that. So as to get you to have that full some understanding. So we're using the online version ever so often for the teaching and learning process. Please, I beg of you, go through your editor soft. You all have access to the platform. Go through your editor soft. Make sure that you are part of the WhatsApp group so that should you have a difficulty with just drop it in there. I should say to you that um, if you need to speak to me outside of the WhatsApp group, please the first get um, my attention in the WhatsApp group before, before you pull me out. Um, let me tell you what is happening. There are many students that I don't even know who are sending me messages and I don't have your names stored to my phone. So sometimes I'll look at it, I'll read a message, and I don't know how to action it. Sometimes the message go unanswered, but I will guarantee you something. 
You see, once the message comes into the Foundation Concept 3 group, I know I have a responsibility to check that group and I will check it and I will respond to you. So if Larsa wants to talk to me and she knows how to find me, but for argument's sake, hi, sir, um, I'm having an issue. Okay, what is the issue? Sir, can I speak to you outside the group? Sure. And I'm sitting right there now waiting to have that conversation um, with her outside of the group because I know exactly what is happening, right? But, but please make sure that you get this. my attention first. Um, get my attention first in the group before we do because if you do that, chances are I won't respond because it's a whole lot of messages. A whole lot of messages, especially with this override, a whole lot of messages. Once you drop it in the group, I know I have a responsibility to talk to my students in the group. And as a matter of fact, I need to exit some of those groups. What's left when I finish marking? I just need to tell them goodbye so I can have space for the others. All right. Um, are there any questions? Before so the, video, the videos start coming with the, 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 the yes, man. Those, yes, right? <laughs> yes, man. Um, so you never, you never, you never check, you never check um, the other one. Come on. I was doing something erroneous. Um, okay. Um, senior, I wasn't picking up the MP4. I wasn't picking up the MP4 with with the speaker. And the only reason that happened to me is because I was using the, I had used another device. I normally send the videos from my phone, but my phone was acting up, so I used a different device. So that's what happened. But um, Krishna can tell you it was corrected, right, Krishna? All right, that's good news, sir. Come on. <laughs> What's Krishna? Krishna, Krishna, you gone? Jesus, no, Krishna, I'm still gone. I'm here. Oh, so may I tell you, sir, just, may I ask you, if they fix it, don't they fix? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So I apologize again. I know it was. Um, it's not just one group but all my groups had the same problem because i was using a different device and you know but now that i know i'm very cognizant of what it is that i'm supposed to be looking for so you should be fine all right it was my pleasure i really hope that you learned something i really hope that you feel like you you can do a little bit more mathematics now you're more empowered um i know um miss ava miss ava here she's on you know Miss Ava here, she's on. She says she could. She says she not do no more marketing. She says she's gonna leave me, but never mind. Um, I really trust and hope that you guys um would have gotten some information, would have learned something, and are now energized to move on and to finish looking through what it is that I was doing and can give an attempt on the homework piece. Remember, from next week, you are supposed to be done with your assessment. So go ahead and do what it is that you're supposed to be doing for me. And then we can continue the conversation via WhatsApp. We meet once a week. So when we come to class on a Saturday morning, we don't want to wish you wash it. Somebody, we want the full 100. So make sure you come on time because we do have another day to make up. All right? Have a good one. Bless you. Thank you, sir. You too, sir. All right. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir.